Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a update on the situation for those that have gone into the updates and have decided to go to the insider preview just temporarily in order to um, install the latest build which is Windows 10 Insider Preview 17.133.1 uh, which was of course the RTM at the moment of its release. Um, it seems that, of course, the RTM status has been revoked. And actually, there's an interesting article this, um, today in, um, I believe it's um, Windows Central, talks about how uh, Microsoft had given status, of course, of RTM to 17.133. But due to a bug, it actually revoked the RTM. Uh, one of the things that, it's, that Microsoft has said is that uh, for those that have done the update, Here's the thing. The bug is, for most people, not much of a problem. And so you probably have a fine build and everything's going well. And uh, it's not a showstopper for most people. But it is a big enough um, problem that it needs to be fixed before release. Now, if we look at build field, of course, build feed is still telling us we're at 17.134.1 for the current Canary, which will be, of course, being tested in self-host and everything, and probably will be sent into the uh, insiders at some point, maybe today, maybe next week. Uh, one of the things that is uh, being asked a lot, because some of you have, you know, decided to move ahead, like this is my main machine, and I did move ahead to 17133. And um, the question that is asked is, okay, but what do I do now? Do I have to go back into the insider ring? We've got an answer today from uh, Microsoft that says, if you did go to 17.133 because um, you wanted to have, you know, the Redstone 4 before everybody else, um, it would seem that when it is officially released, you will have a Windows update that will push you to the next latest version. So you don't necessarily have to do anything. Uh, it seems that at some point when that is released, it should show up and update your machine. So uh, for the most part, this is probably not a problem for anyone. And it would seem that it will actually update itself. And, you know, I will be, of course, checking it out because I'll leave this machine at 17.133. So when the official release arrives, I will see if it updates automatically itself. Um, and as they say, you know, the bug is not a big bug that is, for most people, not a problem, but, you know, they want to fix it. So we'll probably have 17.134 show up in the uh, insider builds, and uh, that's where it's all going to happen, and um, it could be next week. But there are some reports that say that, um, you know, if they tested a lot, it might even be a problem, and Microsoft might actually have a problem even meeting the April deadline for uh, in, in for the Redstone 4, which is kind of interesting. And I wonder if that would push Redstone 5, although we did have a skip ahead and they're still, you know, actually working on it, but could that push also the fall update a little bit? Uh, who knows? But uh, anyways, it's uh, the situation that's happening right now. So if you are on the Redstone 4 now on um, 17133 Spring Creators Update, uh, don't worry, just leave your machine there. And as it will be released, and of course we'll announce it here officially, um, you should be, with the regular Windows update, moved on to the next version of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.